Well, some d disappointing sales numbers coming out of the housing market this week. Sales of existing U.S. homes were down 16.7 percent last month, and only 374,000 new homes were sold in 2009. That's the lowest total on record, according to the National Association of Home Builders. As homes continue to sit on the market, some homeowners with negative equity in their homes are choosing to walk away through so-called strategic defaults. But is that a bad idea, and how could it impact the housing market as a whole? Joining us now is the creator of Ken. Kendra Todd.com and host of HGTV's My House is Worth What? Kendra Todd. Kendra, great to have you today. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so what is a strategic default? How does that work? Uh, well, it's when a borrower decides to simply walk away from uh, their mortgage, even though they can afford to pay it. And what's alarming about this is one quarter of all defaults right now are strategic, which means that you've got foreclosures that are hitting the market that really don't have to, simply because people are looking at their home um, and, and not seeing the investment anymore. So what happens to the homeowner who decides to go that route? Their credit, uh, the ability to move on financially, what happens? Well, foreclosure is not necessarily the best idea because you're prevented from getting a government-insured loan for five to seven years. It really damages your credit, uh, your ability to, to get a job if they check your credit history, uh, your ability to pretty much do anything. You're immobilized for five to seven years. A better option is definitely a short sale because it only hinders your credit and your ability to get a loan for about two years, and it's a lot less costly to the lenders. A foreclosure on average costs a lender about $60,000, which is just incredible. Wow. Okay, so how does the short sale work then if you think that's the better path for you as a homeowner? Well, it's kind of a lengthy process, which is why most people don't go, go that route, but the banks are um, making the system a little bit easier to use and, and essentially deal with the bank in order to negotiate a lower buyout for the mortgage. Now, you know, the question is, how is this going to affect the real estate market, all of these strategic defaults, especially with the plummet in existing home prices? And I don't want people to be alarmed because that plummet was mainly caused by first-time home buyers who were rushing to close at the end of November because they didn't know that the, ta the government tax incentives were going to be extended. Now, we also have to keep uh, in mind that Alto's research came out with numbers that show that our national inventories are actually 23% lower than they were this time last year, and banks have much stronger balance sheets, so I don't want people to look at these numbers and get really excited and think that it's going to make uh, a negative impact on real estate in the year to come. All right, Kendra Todd, we always learn something new when you join us, so thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure. Well, a new